Hi, my name is Evan Dawson. I'm a television broadcaster. I'm also the managing editor of the New York Cork Report. That's an award-winning online wine-focused website. Uh, I'm the author of this book. It's called Summer in a Glass, The Coming of Age of Winemaking in the Finger Lakes. And uh, I'm coming to Italy. I hope to see you there. I'm going to be one of the keynote speakers at the European Wine Bloggers Conference coming up in October. I wanted to tell you real briefly the story of this wine in particular because if you're in Europe, this is the kind of wine that you probably can't get in Europe. That's not to say that it's necessarily better, but it's the story of this wine that makes it truly unique. This is made by a European here in the Finger Lakes. Uh, he's a German, and in 1995 he left his family in the middle of the night during harvest. He snuck out, ending 600 years of winemaking tradition because he felt it was the only way to escape to a new life. Well, he came to the United States and he's been making wonderful, mind-blowing Riesling for about 10 years. And now the American government doesn't think he should get a permanent green card. They don't think he should be allowed to stay here because they think he's taking a job away from an American. Imagine going to London to see Pavarotti. And you'll pardon the sun glare. It's become a gorgeous day here. Imagine going to London to see Pavarotti. And you get tickets to the opera. But then the British government decides, we don't really, why would we bring in Pavarotti to play the opera? He's just taking a job away from a British tenor. We won't let Pavarotti in. Well, that's sort of the situation here in the Finger Lakes with this German winemaker who just wants to stay here. And this very bottle of wine from the Anthony Road Wine Company, this may be the last wine I can get from him if he doesn't get a good decision this year. Can you imagine the United States deporting a winemaker of that quality? Well, that's the story of this wine. I hope it's not his last. It's beautiful. You can see why he wants to stay in this beautiful region. Yeah, there's a little bit of sun glare out here on the lake, but what a gorgeous place to be, to live, to make wine. It's a gorgeous place to work. Now, vamos a verte in Italia. I realize that's Spanish. That's all I got, but I will see you in October. We're going to talk about storytelling, storytelling of each individual wine. We're going to think beyond just the stats and the numbers. We're going to tell real stories of wine in a way that impacts people and connect them to wine as never before. And we're going to do it in a way that's not just about writing. It's not just about book writing or blog writing. It's about video. Uh, it's about delivering oral presentations in front of people, speaking to live audiences. Wine writing is changing. And we're going to talk about all of that in Italy. I'll see you there in October. Cheers.